Hey, this is Chris at Ozark Acres Farm. Well, I got most of my morning chores done, and as you know, it's springtime out here, and uh, so now it's project time. So I do have a couple things I gotta do. Um, got these baby chicks, I gotta get some uh, more water for them, and uh, fill their food, which they're eating quite a bit right now. So they're pushing two weeks old. Probably in another week, I'll be putting them out on some grass and the chicken tractor getting used to that but uh, we're gonna grab their couple buckets here and we're gonna get them some fresh water Good morning, chickies. How we doing? Good How we doing? Good Get you guys some more water. All right, before I give you guys the first water, I'm going to give you some clean shavings. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I'll show you these little dudes that are growing up. They're kind of feathering out here. Let's take a look, see at them. I've never had this many chicks before. I've actually got two brooders full. Whoops. Never had this many before, and it's amazing uh, how much they poop. <laughs> um, but anyway, they're uh, they're getting they're growing. Um, but one of those bags of. Uh, shavings that I get is seven fifty plus tax so um I've been through three of them in two weeks so that's not too bad anyway get these guys taken care of and then uh yeah go work on some projects all right so I got these little dudes taken care of um I'm going to show you a couple things here that I did now that they're getting bigger um so one of the things I did was I hung their feeder just a little bit off the ground so they quit scratching and getting wood chips in it. So it's just hanging like so. And then I put their waterer right here on some two by fours, same reason. So they quit scratching and get wood chips in their water, or at least help limit it. So that's what these guys are doing right here. They got a hanging feeder and then their waterer is up on some wood blocks over here so anyway on to the project all right so project for today is going to be this area right here this is the red shed that i've been keeping the pigs in uh over the winter but i've got red uh due to have babies in about six weeks so i gotta get this i'm gonna put them out here again this is where the two sows i had for a long time used to hang out so I've got a bunch of junk in here electric fence parts I still got to get posts out of the ground uh, got no pallet here um, cattle panel uh, anyway a lot of stuff and then I'm gonna try to take that gate I don't know if it's long enough I'm gonna try to separate off a section in there that way I can put red over here to separate her from beans on the other side uh, when she has her babies so um, I got to go get my tractor keys and my forks start cleaning this place up so stay tuned so I've also got some dirt dumped right here um, when it rains I get a lot of water that comes in from up here and runs down and it runs in and floods the uh, uh, gets water doesn't flood it gets water in the red shed so I got this berm here that we're gonna try to dress up a little bit too so um, get it smoothed out maybe get some great get some grass planted on it but anyway that's another thing to do
and I won't bore you with the details getting these other posts out, but using a tractor and a chain sure does save my back. So anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of these posts out and go to work. Well, hey beans, you wonder what I'm doing back there? Well, I'm making your daughter here a place where she can have her babies. Isn't that what you asked me? Isn't that what you asked me? Huh? Is that what you asked me? What I was doing? Well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so it's a place where Red can have some babies. Huh? Is that what you'd like to have, Red? A nice comfy spot? All to yourself? Then you don't have to fight for your feed from your mama? By the way, Beans, that's where you had your babies is right in there. Yep, right in there. Yep. All right, I gotta go back to work. All right, so I got this area pretty well cleaned up. Um, but before I take my forks off, uh, I'm gonna get that gate moved. And uh, But I'm also going to come up here. Uh, got an old kind of wood pile up here. Dimensional lumber that I've collected over the years. Um, you know, when you live on a farm, you never know when you're gonna need something. So this place is kind of a mess. So I've got some stuff I need to clean up up here get rid of but i'm gonna go through this wood pile real quick while i got the forks on some of this stuff is rotten some of it i'm not ever gonna use some of it's usable um so we're gonna throw the stuff on that uh, is rotten and not gonna use and we're gonna take it out to the burn pile so and then we'll get back to grading out the pig pen and uh, maybe seeing if we can get that gate inside there so here we go back to work all right so uh i took quite took quite a bit out of here i'm on my third load over here of getting rid of some stuff that I just don't want. I gotta reorganize some of this, but uh, that pile diminished quite a bit. So I'm gonna move most of this lumber, get it out of the way because I need some more garden area, uh, which the garden area is right here. So anyway, we're gonna uh, go dump this load and uh, go do some grade work down in the pig pen. Okay, so I just uh, finished up hauling about three loads of uh, old lumber and stuff that I had uh, that I need to get cleaned up. After I cleaned up the pig pen of all that junk, T-posts and lumber, um, still gotta go down there and do some grade work. But I wanted to stop and drink a little coffee and uh, chat a little bit about um, projects and why we don't complete them, or at least why I don't complete them. And, and I'm sure other people have the same struggle, but a lot of times when I think of a project, I think to myself, oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. 
you know, I don't even want to start. So, I mean, whether that could could be what I did today, you know, working outside on the farm, could be mowing your grass, could be cleaning, uh, cleaning your room, doing laundry, housework, uh, changing on your vehicle, whatever it might be. Um, sometimes we think it just takes forever and then we don't even want to start, so we don't. I run into that quite often. Uh, my project list is really long. <laughs> And uh, I, I usually set goals to start the week and I just kept typing and typing and typing. And yesterday, which was Monday, uh, I did run some errands in the morning, but I have an 11 o'clock chiropractor appointment. And uh, it appears that this time of the year, that doesn't work because when I get home, I eat lunch and then I gotta go, but I need to get going outside again, working on some projects and I just don't. I, I didn't do it yesterday, I piddled around, but I really didn't get anything accomplished and so, uh, when I got up this morning, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get after it. I don't have any appointments today. We're gonna get some projects done. So I don't know if you guys struggle with that, but it's just something I was thinking about, thought I'd share with you. Um, man, I'm sitting in my favorite spot on the property uh, right here on the pond and enjoying there's uh, three mallards over there. Oh, there's five mallards over there. Just chilling, my dog's back here. Get, probably getting ready to run off. Um, other dogs are up here and grass was mowed yesterday. But anyway. I could ramble on all day long, but I won't. But uh, if you struggle with your projects, get, just get up and go do it. it. Yeah, it might take a bit, but you'd be surprised how much time it doesn't take and how much better you feel uh, about that. So I'm gonna go do some grade work. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So I got this um, pin, at least graded with the tractor. I gotta do a little hand work. Built a little berm so I can divert some water. So we're supposed to get some rain tonight. So that will get that tested. But uh, anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Looking in the camera, noticing my head's kind of red, and uh, I forgot to put a hat on this morning, so I got a little sunburn. But anyway, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and make it a great day.